Hello, wonderful people. Whether you're listening on my Donnie Arton channel or my Be More Wild channel, welcome. It's been uh, about two weeks. I had COVID. So I was in bed for about seven, eight days. Horrible. Felt, oh, lost a stone and a half in weight as well. That's why I look so slender. Uh, but my hair's got bigger. Um, so yeah, had COVID. Poor old mum's recovering from a hip operation and got COVID. But everyone's better now. So I've started working on a van again. So you'll now be seeing day four. I don't know why I've labelled I've laid, labelled them days, but like day three I think was three hours. Um, day four, been here for two hours so far, doing bits. And we're finally sort of nowhere near completion. <laughs> nowhere near completion, but we're getting a little bit closer. Um, other updates is I'm out of work again. So I've got to find work to finish this project off as well. But positive side of things, what I've been doing and a lot more plans and even start to do little diagrams and drawings, which maybe I'll share and you can give your opinions on. But also as well, yeah, I'm really thankful for all your opinions. The channel's subscriptions have gone up massively thanks to everyone sort of subscribing and having interest. And the comments, I mean, 90% of them encouraging really nice comments and the other 10% are not even that bad a couple of people made a couple of jokes and some criticism which helps trust me but the people that told me don't sleep with your head out the back that's not a criticism in my eyes I just didn't think about it but it makes a lot of sense so I replan things to sleep with my head more central now so anyway let me spin this round and we'll try and talk through what the plans will be with this van right so the for the van I've just started putting the flooring back down. So underneath, we've got this seven millimeter, seven mil foam foil reflective stuff. And I've lied it across the entire bottom. Now I'm screwing the original panels back. I need to do a bit of um, scraping off this. This is where previous owners spilt paint. But they're going back and <laughs> they're actually fitting, which is amazing, amazing. I'm gonna get out of the car actually and walk around and being lazy. I've got a coffee before I carry on. I keep calling it a car. It's not a car, is it? It's a van. Right. So let's talk about it. This is the reflective stuff on the bottom. This is now screwed back together and screwed back to the floor. I also have now started putting these foot guards back in. And this one, when I pulled it out, I broke all of these blue clips yes so I've been pulling them out the sides of the walls which were left in there that still weren't broken and there might be some upstairs in my parents spare room attached to the other bits of plastic that I'm not going to be reusing I'm hoping there is that means then I can finish this one off and put it back in so inside I know this is bad people will moan about this my brother-in-law had some spare loft insulation I haven't got the money to buy any more insulation especially now they work so I'm using that and um, I've stuffed it in there. It's going to be covered with the plastic. It's going to be covered with the carpet and it's not going to be disturbed anymore. And I think for a van that hopefully will be two years, three years at most, that's going to be fine. And I'm not in the van all the time. You're only in there when you're sleeping really. Um, so yeah, that's in there. Insulated all through these, all through these top bits, all these void areas, they're all going to be covered. Also insulated here. This side I've got to do more of the um, foil reflective stuff. I'm going to cover all this, all this. Now I had other tips as well. People told me that stuffing behind this and then compressing it, you lose insulation. So my plan is to take them off. I'm going to take that reflect the, the insulation off the dodo mat. That's coming off and I'm going to put the foil reflective stuff there instead. I'm going to put the board over the top and I'm going to actually put the foam you might not agree with this on the outside here and then carpet over that loosely so it's not pushed in give me a bit more insulation and if I decide to attach stuff to it it's still not really going to affect things too much I think that's a better way of doing it getting double insulation and yeah I just think I'm going to do that I think that's going to work you'll probably tell me it's wrong um, so I'm going to take all this out foam it there now all this is stuff behind here and all the gaps and then this stuff uh, the glue I used didn't really 
grip and it's just peeling off. So I'm gonna peel that off. I'm gonna put more of that reflective foam across there, like I've done there. And then I'm gonna reattach this stuff with a stronger ad adhesive, spray it hard, and then re-put that insulation back over that. So again, it'll be two forms of insulation there as well. So again, you can see, this is the reflective stone. Ah, don't judge. I oh, know it's bad. It's all off cuts that I ended up having. I am gonna get this foil tape as well, and tape all the edges back flat, best I can, and fill in all these little gaps best I can. Right, plans as well here. I'm gonna keep this cubby, I'm gonna foil the outlines of it in the back, and then a little bit of insulation, and then I'm gonna block it off with wood and make that into a little storage cubby. This, I am gonna block off, but have this 12 volt still attached. So this will be like a little recharge bit, but that'll be using the van's battery. I don't have a leisure battery for the van. Um, and then we'll do the same with this one. You can see an example where I've insulated around, put the foil on the back, there's gonna be wood coming across there to the side so it's blocked off, and that'll be like a little foam storage thing in the evening. I'm also thinking of reusing these plastic covers that were here, the vents, and maybe, if it works, having little drawers here, so you can just place little things as drawers maybe, like you hide your wallet in there, if you're popping out when you don't need it, or your phone, you know, little hiding holes. Another idea, maybe. Then, we get into where the bed's gonna go. So it's either gonna go this side, or this side. I don't know what to do yet, but the plan will be, the bed, can I zoom this out? Yeah, it's gonna run long, like a bench chair, traditional. It's gonna have three partitions that can go to L-shape here, L-shape here, or middle out. It's also gonna be able to open and close to access storage. And then I was thinking halfway, this part of the storage can come out this way as a drawer. This part of the storage will come inwards here, so you can access it. You can also lift it up if you need to. Then the top part of the bench here we have an extra folding flap that when you go to sleep you just lift up place onto this chair which folds flat down and rests on the back of it eventually it'll be a swivel you can turn it round and rest it on the seat and then you'll have the full length for sleeping and when you're finished fold it back it's back in a chair across here the plan is to extend this cabinet up to the end here then that's where you'll store the bedding during the day and things like that I also thought, because bedding's light and you can spread it, above my head, where the wood be going across, the storage, there'll be a little notch that you just slide out, like a slide out drawer almost, and it leaves like a, an open void where my head can actually sit. So if I stretch, I'm not gonna headbutt the wood all the time. I've got space to move my head. And because it's only gonna be a blanket running across it, it's not gonna fall down. It's um, not gonna be heavy. And then when you wanted to, you just slide the bit of wood back in as well, if you need to. So that gives you headroom and still the full storage. So that's the plan for that as well. I want these chairs gone. I either have a single chair that I store somewhere and use when I have a passenger, otherwise it'll be empty, and a swivel driver's chair, ideally. Frying pans are really handy for organization. Just saying, there's no door here. Um, right, as we go round, I still haven't got this window things I want yet. Um, so you see we've got here this big amount of storage here. So the plan is with these chairs gone, you can access this bit of storage here really easily. And maybe that's where a diesel heater can sit or potentially in the future, a leisure battery. There, maybe, who knows. All right, there's space behind this door as well. So I potentially could have a little tiny shelves behind this and if the bed is going here, then that leaves this space empty. So, the plan would be that the kitchen area would go here, and then on the edge of the kitchen you'd have little wooden lips, so you can extend the bed across, give you a bit more sleep space, and then push it back in when you need to have a little tiny walkway, be a really narrow passageway, but you have a little kitchen bit here. And then you've got this bit here. Now I've seen people actually use this full shape as like a garage. So you could have shelving built in 
that runs all across here. You fill this up, you can't use this anymore as a walkway, but without these chairs being here, you can just walk through your passenger door and through, through the back or through the driver's door, you can walk through. So it's not that limited still. And then you get a full height of storage here, which could be a game changer. Um, and then this becomes like a garage where you can store your leisure battery or your um, portable power station here, charge everything from there, have your kitchen, have your chair, um, maybe fit a mounted bracket on here on the bit of wood so you can have your iPad stored here, you can sit there, or I don't know, maybe on the back doors you can have the iPad resting in the back doors and you can lay there watching your iPad, I don't know. Um, this will go back in there. So that's sort of the idea. I don't know what would be this space here yet, but you could put your little fridge there. Um, I don't know. That's kind of the plan. So I am waffling, a little bit excited as things progress. Underneath this driver's chair is all this space, so I could utilise the space under this chair. But I like the idea of it being able to swivel. And um, with all this gone, I mean, that's a lot of space there. That's a lot of space for a small van. That opens up a lot. And like I said the other option would be if the bed's not this side and it's on this side, the passenger side, then the storage would go behind the driver's seat up to the top and have a full length storage. And then the bed would be here. But all that means is when you get in and out, you'd have to go into the side door, jump onto the bed, and then go through. You couldn't just walk through still. Is that good? I don't know. They're the two options. What do you think would work well? Um, what's going on the outsides? Originally, I wanted wood. But I don't know if it's going to be so expensive and awkward. So potentially carpeting the entire thing all over. Um, have to carpet over those wires. I don't know how I'm going to cover that battery thing. That bit, I have no idea what to do with that side. So I'm kind of focused on this side first, <laughs> the easier side. And maybe you guys can help me what I'm going to do with this. Am I going to, there's going to be a unit in front of it, or the bed, but just say a unit, for instance, the kitchen bit. So that's going to be hidden. So you're not going to see that metal, but ideally you still want it covered, don't you, with like the carpet material. Yes, and the secret little hidey storagey bit behind the unit will be there still. Give me your thoughts, please. What you think? Oh, also as well, going to have reflective window covers in the front for the times that I don't want to have a curtain up. But I'm also going to get a curtain fitted through here to here and have it hanging sort of down here if I need to. So if you do want to sit in the back during the day or something you can put a curtain across still have privacy and if you need to get out you can just pull the curtain open jump straight back in not all the hassle of taking covers off now the question I had as well was when I'm parked up now you've got me thinking about my head at the back which it won't be do I want to be sleeping on the side like this driver side normally would be on the road side so if someone did hit the car they're more likely to hit the back or the, pass the driver's side so you'll be parked the left side next to the curb so does that mean I should be sleeping on the left side for even more protection it also means you're closer to the curb which means you're closer to um, people walking past but I mean the space of like was it two foot does it make any difference no so what do you think about that should I be focused on sleeping on passenger side more nearer to the curb where there's less chance of a vehicle hitting you or would it make no difference if it's going to hit you it's going to hit you um, yes and then the back doors which I haven't got to yet the plan for that is we've got these little plastic moulds at the bottom I want to replace them with wood so let's make a template cut them and then put either a little table on one of them and the other one I'm not sure yet but then you can have a little table that opens up when you're outside for cooking put an extra bit of space it folds up folds down and across the top ones because there's no windows there there's a bit of wood you could again either attach a little bit of shelf in there or nets that you can store stuff in there's ideas I've seen people attach their outdoor camping chairs there as well so again that's something to think about and then I need to think about how I'm going to store my guitar I thought maybe could I do it to the roof but probably not I see people put surfboards there and stuff so I thought oh maybe a guitar could hang there 
and then lights well everything's going to be powered by usb on the power generator or it's going to be batteries push which i will just stick to the roof with velcro um because i'm not going to be wired up yet it was a lot to take in a lot to digest and i was waffling on because i've not done it for ages and the covid it's nice to get back in doing it i've been using a power drill now and doing other things which i've not done properly before and when you actually start doing it you start feeling like oh yeah i'm doing this i'm doing that and working things out as well um it's quite interesting there will be bits that i'm gonna need help with i know that but so far i've managed to do it myself the carpeting already is stressing me in my head not getting that right it's a lot of money with the glue and the carpet to then get wrong um but it's so exciting and the making of the bed i've never made anything with wood properly so to make something that's freaking parts opens closes slides i'm i will be getting help with that i will be picking brains and getting help for that 100 percent um yeah but it's cool and then obviously the wood's down so at some point i need to scrape it clean it maybe sand it a little bit to get rid of the edges but i need to put a flooring down so i was thinking of like some sticky back vinyl on the floor easy to sweep and wipe um maybe a light colour so it looks brighter it might show dirt more but it's it's piecing together bit by bit and uh, it's just annoying that the job stopped so there's no income now so I can't I can't continue things but I can use what I've got at the moment and get things done yeah so what do you think of all the ideas I've said and the plans I know I waffled just a little bit excited what do you think next I've been taking on board all your comments there's a lot I would like to do in the future a live stream where I just read out all your comments and interact with you in a live stream just get a faster interaction and stuff I think that'd be really cool and if you're on Donnie Yutton channel I'll be sharing a little snippet of my new music video I'm moving all my music stuff official videos onto a new channel which will be just my artist name so that'll be coming in the future and be more wild as well with every channel you're on I'll try and do a live stream that goes out to everyone so we can just sort of have a little chat uh, yeah let me know your van builds are going there's a lot of people doing their own van builds as well it's really interesting to hear what you've been telling me people up in Scotland with no heating but now they're getting diesel heaters and stuff let me know how it's all going we'll speak soon I wanted to keep this one short it's probably not short it's still going to be like 10 minutes but right take care stay awesome you're awesome i appreciate everything you say and do um yeah much love bye